challenge you faced yesterday and how you handled that yeah so we we'll be we we'll not be calling up your names you will be volunteering to share that's the you know that's the rhythm that we follow at Ten Academy because we want to help you grow either in public speaking and also self expressions. So let's hear from different people now, unless we have any announcement from the team. Uh, see someone from tutoring team if there is something to announce. All right, so why not share now? I, I need to see your hands up. If you want to share, please raise your hand. Tell us how your yesterday was, uh, also the challenge you faced and how you handled that. So I see Radiate. Before I go to Radiate, I need more hands. So for, it's for me to, you know, yeah, Krema Gaga, please, you will excuse me for pronouncing your name incorrectly, but yeah, we get used. Yeah, if I do pronounce your name badly, please uh, for, forgive me. So let's start from Radiate. Please share with us. Okay, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, can you hear me? Rather than clear. Okay. Uh, yesterday's session was so great, and it was a great experience. Uh, and I, I like. It. Did, did, did we lose you? Can't. We can't hear. So maybe. Uh, she dropped off. Let's let's proceed with Krema. Yeah, morning, guys. Uh, this is Krema from, from Ghana. I, I'll be very brief. Yesterday was was an exciting journey for me. Um, apart from the stand-up meetings, which gave an intro to basically what we should expect this week, I think I had most of the fun on the Slack platform. Where mm -hmm. we, we were sharing hobbies of um, each other. I think uh, it was fun to see the kind of weird stuff and weird fun facts about other people. So for me, that was the highlight for yesterday, apart from like the main stuff. So it was good to, to see that um, in as much as people are into their careers, there's a fun bit of everyone, which is kind of essential in, in, in life as we, we, we try to develop. Yeah. All right. That's great. Clement, how did you enjoy, like, how did you like the first exercise, the first challenge that you submitted yesterday. Also tell us if you managed to submit. Yes, um, I managed to submit. Um, I've watched a couple of videos on how to work around Git and uh, GitHub. So for it, it wasn't really that of a challenge for me. Um, so I was able to submit in time and uh, I think I was even able to assist uh, uh, some colleagues with some challenges that they encountered on the slack page as well so yeah okay. thanks thanks clement the gaga can you share the gaga yeah. uh, can you hear me am, am i saying the gaga right correct yeah yeah that's that's <laughs> correct okay uh, so uh my name is the gaga and i am from Ethiopia. Uh, I want to share my feeling. Uh, it's just uh, wonderful and uh, I'm very happy to be part of this uh, because I've been able to learn a lot of things and uh, beside the learning or beside the session that we have, we have been also helping each other on the Slack. We have been asking and we have been getting answers and uh, I have also been, have been helping others. So it is a wonderful uh, day and it was very Amazing. Okay. So, uh, thanks, the Gaga, for sharing. So, um, I see we have to, like, I have a question from the Mesge. 
Um, do we have from the chat? Let me see if you have some someone that can help to respond. Is unable to create Twitter developer account. It says need valid phone number. What should I do? The mess game. Um, have you managed to ask that on Slack? Are you able to speak so that you can probably clarify what's your challenge? TMSK? Yes, I'm very good. Are you there? Okay, sorry. Okay. Yes, can you clarify your, your challenge? Okay. Uh, I was trying to create a Twitter developer account from the search slide in Monday challenge. But this is keeping. Mm. Uh, we need it's display on our We need five phone number, but there is no input ex, uh, except full name or username and email. But how can I do that? Okay, okay. Did you read the for the, the 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 response from Neo Mukiza? No. Following your question in the chat. No. So let's hear. Yeah, let's hear from someone. If you are able to respond to the Mexican question, please unmute yourself and speak. Uh, okay, worse maybe I can answer to that. All right. Uh, I think uh, Tamar and others has, have already answered. You need to put your phone number on the account, on the Twitter account, not on the form that Twitter provided you. And I think once you put your phone number, you can uh, proceed. But that shouldn't be a problem for this week since that it has already been provided to you. You shouldn't waste much of your time on uh, requesting Twitter developer account. Okay. Thanks, DJ. I hope Temeskin and others have got a response to that. And yeah, let's keep sharing. Uh, from Teodros Abere, can you share with us how your yesterday was and updates? Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, Teodros. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Okay, uh, good morning, everyone. I'm Theodros from uh, Ethiopia. And uh, yesterday's session was, it was very great. And uh, it helped me to understand uh, what uh, Ten Academy provides. And uh, it was uh, really helpful. And also it helped me to understand uh, what this week's session and what, uh, what expected from me uh, to qualify for the, the rest of the, the three month sessions, and it, it was really helpful. I will thank you, you guys. All right. Um, so, did you manage to submit your yesterday's challenge? Yes, yes. Uh, I, I managed to submit the yesterday's assessment. Okay. Let's hear from Haile Michael. I don't know if I'm saying that. Maybe uh, someone from Ethiopia can. Let me like read it correctly. Hello. Uh, can Hi. you hear me? Hi. How do you pronounce your name? Hi, let me care. Hi, let me care. Okay. Uh, go on, please. Um, uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, uh, yesterday was uh, an exciting day because uh, I got uh, a full roadmap of the program uh, and also the first week. Uh, first, I want to say thank you for uh, Ten Academic team for giving us uh, this golden opportunity, uh, and also uh, the mentors for giving us their precious time. Uh, and uh, yesterday was an introduction day, and uh, the first task was to create. Uh, to create a repository using a template uh, and dropping that the link uh, on the submission. Uh, yesterday, I, I have known anything. Uh, I didn't know about 
uh, templating in GitHub. Uh, and yeah, I, I learned anything and uh, I submitted yesterday's work. Uh, and thank you. All right. Thanks, I am Mika. And yeah, let's hear from Helmela. Okay, thank you. Can you hear me? Hi, we can hear you. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, my name is Yamila Vitinet. I'm from Turkey. And uh, yesterday's session was great. Uh, all the teachers and the resources provided was nice. Um, and the challenges were like, there was, there was, uh, the challenge was great. Uh, and finally, this platform will allow us to um, perform well in the global working environment. And so generally, it was a great session. So did you face any, any broker? Good to hear from you. Uh, yeah, like uh, I submitted the day one challenge yesterday. Uh, mm -hmm. So uh, like, uh, it was great. So no challenge that you faced? Uh, actually, I, I faced some challenges. For example, I was unable to uh, like create the developer's uh, key in the teacher's file. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, like it was a challenge for me. As a result, that, like I created the repository from the template provided and uh, like sent the link, they are link the uh, assignment. Okay, so now you're green. Sorry. I mean, um, now you, you 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 don't still have the same issue. It was resolved. Uh, act, no, actually, I'm like still process uh, in the progress of creating the developers uh, in, the, the, in the task one processes that we should perform. Okay. So, so the advice will be if if the challenge persists, please use the Slack as your community because. Okay. When you're facing a, a given problem or an issue, maybe your colleague might be facing it as well. When you ask, you ask it for, to, for the community. Maybe you can find someone who faced the same challenge, but who got a response or a way to go for it. So that's oh. from, from, from there. So you don't spend much time on a given issue. So spending like more than 10 minutes on one broker uh, can be very challenging at this stage. So thanks for sharing. Uh, let's hear from Dilhan. Hello. Uh, good morning, all of you. My name is Rohan. Uh, from my side, yesterday was uh, good because the challenge is no more. And uh, after the session, I tried to understand the data and uh, I used the uh, uh, repository template, then I submit my challenge, uh, individual challenge. Then I try to, after I submit the challenge, I try to understand the future data and uh, extract uh, the data. Uh, the challenge from the yesterday was in the middle uh, to the, my anaconda was broken. Uh, then I fix it. Uh, this is all my uh, daily activity from there yesterday. Thank you. Great, thanks, Graham. And so, are you aware of today's schedule? What? Do you know what's coming up today? Yeah, from today the, the, the today challenge is to fix the bug. So uh, yesterday also I tried. Now I'm moving to uh, uh, within the bug fix code. Okay. So my question was, because we share you the schedules ahead, so it's it's great for like, maybe for some people who are joining us like uh, for the second time, schedule is very important because you have to know what's coming for today and also what's coming tomorrow. So like after this stand-up session, you should be all aware of what what what's the session that is going to follow? So it's really a great practice. So you can look through this through the schedule and 
know where you need to be after this stand-up meeting. Even though we send you reminders on Slack, but it's important to know what what's the next session after this one. Um, let's hear from Sen Senai. If I'm please. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. I just wanted to say yesterday was really fun. Everybody is. Senai, how do you pronounce your name? Senai. I'm from Israel. Yeah. All right. As I said yesterday, it was fun. Everyone on Slack is very helpful. I didn't have much of a challenge. It was only creating the Git report, uh, cloning the Git repository. So I did that and I tried to start earlier on today's task. Senai, maybe I'm not, I was not. I was not getting you, but I'm going to change the pattern now. It looks like people from Ethiopia are speaking, and uh, yeah. it's really, really, it's really tricky. So we need to hear from people, other people from uh, other sides of the world. Yeah. So, so okay. if you're now from Ethiopia, please raise your hand and up to speak. Yeah. Someone who is not from Ethiopia, Wangui. Uh, hello. Hello. Uh, yes. Um, so I wanted to thank all the tutors and um, for facilitating just a really nice community. Um, so yesterday I was working on the project. Um, I appreciate how you are taken through um, like working on Git, which was a bit new for me um especially using the terminal and then also um anaconda was it was really interesting to see how that uh, fits into the whole uh project and then um one really great resource i found was the ten academy youtube channel which is why i think um the videos after the session are hosted because I like scrolling through, they have videos for for previous batches and like up to one year uh, before. So um, a lot, I found, um, I mean, content that helped me with uh, my project. And it was just nice to hear that people are succeeding out there. Uh, yes, that was my experience so far. Thanks, Wangui. Thanks for sharing. Uh, can please let us know your nationality? Where are you from? So. Um, from Kenya. Hello? I'm from Kenya. Kenya. All right. Great. Thanks for sharing. Uh, someone else, um, not from Ethiopia, we have heard from many people from Ethiopia. Let's hear from someone, um, Israel. Tell us where you're from and also shares with us the experience of yesterday. Uh, can you see me? Ah, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. But feel yeah. free also to turn on your camera if you want us to see. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, so my name is Nimrod. I'm from Kenya. Okay. Yeah, so... Uh, yesterday's experience um, was, uh, I think I learned a lot. Uh, I'm still new in the in the field. I had so I had like like uh, so many challenges when it came to the first um, mm. assignment of the first project. To be honest, uh, I'm still working on it, and I hope by the end of the, the week I'll have to catch up with. Everything. So, but I'm really enjoying and I'm looking forward to learning a lot from the university. Thanks, thanks, Nimrod, and thanks for sharing for you. Yeah, um, yeah, it's not just a matter of being new to the field. The what matters most is the your commitment, your hunger, and also you know the way you 
yeah, you forward to it. So if you're dedicated and you're really committed to this, you will do it. So don't be like frustrated because you will see many people here probably having some backgrounds on in, in programming, coding. They have some even some yeah, pre, some basic experience or some years of uh, work, but does not matter. It's it's for you as the resource because you can use them as some people who can really support you through then you will do better as well. So that's not a challenge for you. As long as you're here with us, you show up to the stand-up, you show up to the tutorials, you collaborate on Slack, everything's going to be smooth. Thank you. Margaret? Um, hi, everyone. So for me, my... Um, the exercise yesterday went great. Um, I managed to create a template well and submit it on time and already started with task one and currently fixing the bugs. Um, for today, I hope to continue fixing the bugs and uh, get done with task one and start with task two. Um, and to my Kenyan people, happy voting day. Thanks. Oh, oh wow. Um, I hope, you know, I hope the result becomes like uh, very positive and also, yeah, hope that you have a great day in Kenya. Uh, looking forward to celebrate new president. And Margaret, did you, did you face any broker yesterday? Um, yes, I did, but it was mostly on with working with directories on on my VS Code. But I think I have a. I'm still working on a way to get it fixed. All right. Uh, yeah. Thanks so much. Mm, now let me see that we have time. I need someone from Benin. If you are on the call and you are from Benin, please raise your hand and please share us. Uh, Chukwedi. Chukwedi. Okay. So if please you say you pronounce your name and also, yeah. Hello, you good, morning. Your good morning. Good morning. Yeah, it's pronounced Chukudi. I am Nigerian, but currently in Rwanda, Kigali. Um, so yes, this. I said I am Nigerian, but currently I'm in Kigali, Rwanda. Oh, really? Yeah. You probably have to meet. I'm there. <laughs> I'm here. So, that, that would be great. <laughs> From your accent, I could. Talk. How was yesterday? So yesterday was. Um, I would say it was light compared to what I've seen that is coming ahead of us when I went through the schedule for the program. It looks a bit scary. So yesterday I was a bit I was able to submit the the link to the template I created for the repo. And currently I'm trying to fix the bugs in the sample code I was given. And I hope to finish that today. And also I've finished the summary the the first part of the task for the day, which is summarizing yeah. the understanding of the week zero project. Um, at the moment, uh, there are no blockers. I just need to remain consistent and disciplined to, to the program. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Chukudi, and thanks for sharing. Um, Sidoin? Good morning. Uh, can you hear me? Good morning. Hello. Can hear you. Okay. So I'm from Benin, and uh, I was able to submit on time uh, the, the assignment. So I created a teacher repository using the template provided by the Ten Academy team, and mm -hmm. I'm trying actually to fix the different bugs. So I think I fixed some of them, and today I will continue to to fix the remaining. And after proceed of the different tasks. 
Okay, no brokers? Uh, not at all, but, but uh, some difficulties using PS Code to manage the different folders and all the things. Mm, okay. Okay, that's great. Someone else from, you know, Benin? Do we have someone else from Benin? If not, Prince? Yes. I'm from Benin. Okay. Maybe. Yeah. Hello, Hello, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, I'm ah. Prince from Ghana. And, okay. um, yeah, what I'd like to say is uh, a, a huge uh, thanks for the opportunity and to my fellow course mates because yesterday they were very helpful uh, one thing that stood out for me was the how we're very uh, helpful to one another coming together to help uh, solve uh, each other's problems so i think that 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 is something that uh, we can continue to make to make life easy for us on this platform um, I think at the moment I'm facing uh, a few blocker that I'm, I'm actually working on. Um, but you could, I, I don't think it was mentioned that we had to do it, but it was something that I saw elsewhere and I wanted to try my hands on, which was uh, VS Code, trying to set up a virtual environment. And I think that is where I'm facing a little bit of a problem in trying to activate the virtual environment. So I don't know if you can lend a hand in that regard. So someone from the tutoring team, if you can probably drop in. Okay. For the Yedidia, yeah. did you get the question from Prince? Uh, yes, Prince. Okay. okay, I think maybe you can have a separate session for that because it's mm -hmm. something uh, important for everyone. Okay. For now, and for the coming challenge, so we maybe set up a separate session on how mm -hmm. to set up uh, a condo environment or an environment for your uh, okay. repositories. Because mm. at the moment, I'm using VS Code. Uh, I've been able to create the virtual environment, but in activating it, when I activate it, I don't see anything, and I'm wondering whether I did something wrong or not. Uh, are you using Conda environment or what environment are you? Uh, yeah, I have Anaconda installed as well. Okay, so did you use or did you activate Conda environment? Did I have to? Hello? Prince? Yes. Okay. Can you hear me? Uh, yes, I can hear you. Okay. So, did you activate the condo environment? Um, I don't know. How, how do I go about doing that? I'm not sure if I did. <laughs> uh, okay, maybe we can drop a basic instruction on Slack for the whole group. Okay. Maybe mm -hmm. that. Okay, that yeah. Mm -hmm. That would be very helpful. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Well, Prince, and thanks, you did, yeah, for jumping. Neo Mukiza. Please share with us. Niamuchiza Tamar. If you're speaking, we can't hear you. Okay, so let's see. We have someone from Cameroon on the call. We haven't heard from someone from Cameroon. If you can raise your hand and speak. Maurice. Hello. Can you hear Hello. me? Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, good morning, everyone. I'm good Maurice from, from Benin. Uh, yesterday, I was happy to set everything. I already have the con uh, Anaconda environment. So uh, the challenge was uh, a bit about how to deal with the kit and come create a folder from the kit to join the kit up. But I was able to do it this morning. So it was okay now. Okay, thank you. 
Okay, thanks for sharing. Um, let's hear from some, we have someone from Sudan. If you are you, if you are from Sudan and you are on the call, please raise your hand and speak. You haven't heard from someone from Sudan so far. If we don't have someone on the call, so yeah, Ayman Osman, please speak. Hi there. Good morning. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Uh, yesterday was fun for me. And it's actually, uh, for me, it's a different experience because I'm coming from physics background and research background. Yeah, coding and like my previous experience basically it wasn't the quality of the code or doing like something I just want the job done. So this is a different, totally different experience and where I get that stuff. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out my way out out of this. But yeah, it's really interesting. And also today that the cost a lot Thank you. Thanks, Ayman. So did you manage to submit your yesterday challenge? Yes. Yeah, I would like to just follow this. Yes. Yeah, I have a signature. It's true. It's true. So, if you're probably not speaking, please feel free to mute yourself. Okay. Of course. It's a good thing. Okay. Right. Let's hear from Mohammed. See, your hand is off. Hi, everyone. Uh, Actually, yesterday was okay. I hope uh, everyone can hear me well. Yesterday was uh, good for me. Uh, I installed uh, Anaconda and Git Bash, and uh, I I can get cloned inside my repos. I really understand it. Uh, the only broker for me was uh, actually I was outside the home and I didn't expect that I will be ex uh, like accepted in week zero because I didn't do that well in exam. Uh, today, uh, like I plan to finish everything. Uh, I am now in my way to my hometown. Uh, mm. That's all. Uh, all right. Yes. Great. Good to hear that. Probably yeah, today will be great then. So our most most people from like our trainees mostly said like as the days goes on, so you get familiar with you know with the concepts with the of, of course the community. So and the days as the days go on, so things get more familiar and no big challenges that you'll be facing. And um, yeah, let's hear from someone from Rwanda. Kigali or any other place. We haven't heard from any person from Rwanda so far. Do you have someone from Rwanda on the call? If you can raise your hand. Yes, Ejid. Hello, good morning. Yeah, I'm Ejid from Rwanda, Kigali. So uh, yesterday's experience was uh, really great. Uh, I managed to submit the work on time and also I've started the, the other tasks. Uh, uh, cleaning uh, was a bit uh, confusing, if I could say, because there were like some functions that were already uh, pre-written and it was like, I have to change them or maybe I uh, should leave them and just fix functions that are not Routines, or there were even like some methods that were like called but not defined. Uh, I have to rewrite them again. So that was it was a bit confusing because I wasn't sure if what I'm doing is the right because I don't have like expected uh, result like uh, data types and all that. But mm. it's going well. Okay. 
So did you manage to did you manage to communicate your challenge or your ask a question to on the Slack? Yes, yes. Uh, I asked questions like uh, the data types expected for some 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 columns features. Um, yeah. Did you get a response or you're still struggling? Well, I, my my uh, the uh, extracted file the the one of extracting data was like done and have the the csv file but but uh, i'm not sure if like the the way my data is uh, organized is this exact way that is expected so i don't i didn't get the, the response to that mm. yes. okay so maybe you can this can take more time and I guess if you keep struggling, you can probably write someone privately or share, but we encourage to share on the, the groups. You can still ask that again because you can get a response to that. So maybe, yeah, describing clearly the challenge you're facing and also what are the types of probably the columns you are not really understanding where in terms of knowing their data types. So you can ask that then by try to be specific when you ask so you can get yeah. a response. So where I was a bit confused is on the hashtags and user mentioned. So the uh, processed tweet data that I expect, exported uh, has uh, has uh, dictionaries. So that was, it was like values that I'm getting on hashtags and user mentions. So I was like, is that what they expected or or uh, just other types of values? So, so if um, anyone got that, maybe you can help me with that. Well, anyone got that, who can probably jump in? Give you uh, yeah, no, the result you're getting, is, it's a nested dictionary, so you're it's nested inside of the entity keyword. The Hello? Yes. Are you asking me the, the result? Yeah, the result you're getting, it's a dictionary, right? Am I correct? Yes, yes. Like like text uh, has like a value like velocity and indice, which has uh, a list of some numbers. Yes, uh, the, it, that's because it's a nested dictionary. It's under the entities key. So yes. if you go to your JSON file, you can find entities and both user mentions and hashtags are nested inside of it. So you can add entities uh, key and uh, you can get the specific hashtags and user mentions you require. So the result will be an... Uh, uh, values in the list or the values just without keys? Uh, you you can just add entities as a key in front of hashtags and user mentions and you can get the result that you're looking for. All right, thanks. Okay. Thanks, Gideon, and I hope Ejit got that. So, let's, let's see another way to for like for our next 10 minutes, we'd like to hear from um, like two to four female females on the call. If uh, you know a female but haven't spoken, please raise your hand and please share with us at Dijat. Hi, good morning. Good still morning here. Good morning and good afternoon to everyone. Um, yesterday was exciting and it was it was also a bit tedious things are a bit slow on my head so i can as well say i'm still i'm still i've just started fixing it up but all the same it was very good i didn't have some issues uh, on, on Slack, so that's very useful. Uh, 
Khadija, can you be close to your microphone? We can't really get you. Well. Uh -huh. Okay, I, I I was just sharing my experience about yesterday. It was it was a wonderful one, and okay. and demanding. I had to I had to have that. It was demanding and wonderful. I hope today will be better. And I I, I started fixing my box this morning, so it, it was a bit slow here. Mm. But I, I hope to I hope to get get over with it and the rest of the facts today. Okay, that's great and thanks for sharing. So Adija, you are from which country? I'm from Nigeria, currently in Lagos. All right, thanks. Um let's hear from Nia Mukiza. Hi everyone. Hi. Uh, I'm Nia Mukiza Taman. I'm from Rwanda. And uh, currently in Egypt. Uh, yesterday, I was amazed by the content and the structure of this tenor garden. I've attended the Udacity and the other platforms, but this is really amazing. And I, I hope uh, I will continue to be amazed by what yesterday. Uh, regarding the blockers, uh, I'm still in the starting stage. I'm facing some issues with the Giti, uh, I mean, those uh, uh, commit and they push and creating branches. I'm still struggling. Maybe I will ask someone to help me about it. Uh, thank you. That's it. Thanks, in, th thanks, Nyo Michiza. And yeah, please yeah. use use the community as a resource whenever you probably. Of course, it's it's very useful when you try it by your your of course your own. Um, spend some time learning, but if you see you're spending or much time on a, a given issue, please use the community because they, they are a backup for you. And, uh, is it possible to create a, another? Slack what Slack channel where you can add uh, resources just for resources because sometimes we can't easily find those resources. They are all over. Some people are adding those links, but if we have, uh, I thought I thought that if you have a, a channel for resources only, it will help us so easily. Is it that possible? Thanks, thanks for the suggestion. And um, yeah, we look into that. But I guess, I guess by by now we can be still using like week zero channel mm -hmm. or, or general. So week zero channel is yeah, you know, it's just um, a place where you can you you can share the different links, mm -hmm. or you can use general channel. So what we what you have to do is to keep an eye on the, you know the messages that are coming because you can get resource that might be useful to you. So and resources doesn't necessarily mean to come from a tutor. Mm -hmm. Please, you are the one you guys to be sharing. Please have that habit. Be mm -hmm. open to share when you get a, a, a useful resource. Please share it with your, your colleagues. That's very useful. So we can think of that in terms of the suggestion if we can have a separate link, uh, of course, channel for that. But meanwhile, let, let's be using a week zero. Thank you very much. Thanks, Lord. Great. Kenneth? Okay, good morning. Uh, uh, I am Kenneth from Ethiopia. <coughs> and uh, yesterday's session was very nice. And uh, I was enjoyed uh, a lot about uh, on uh, community uh, building sessions, especially. And as a few, the tutorial was also very nice for me. Uh, and uh, I was continuing reading and uh, I am working on bug and I am still fighting with <laughs> errors in the zone. That's great. Thank you so much. Thanks. Thanks, Kenny. Um, so the last five minutes, I reserve it for any sp particular questions that you might be having. So if someone is having a specific or particular question that you can ask the team, 
or the or your colleagues, please raise your hand and ask that. So we have tutors on the call. So, and also we have the team on the call. So any type of the question that is probably, yeah, if you have that, please raise your hand and ask that. Otherwise we will probably close or welcome. Josias. Yeah, hello, good morning. Good morning. I'm from Benin. And okay. uh, I'm struggling to retrieve the sensitivity data from the given file. And I'm not able to do it. Then I'll, I'm asking for help, please. To, uh, you allowed me to ask the question. Josias, I can't hear you well. I don't know if someone from the team or others I, I I don't know if you can hear me. Mm -hmm. No. Okay. I said that I'm trying to retrieve the sensitivity data from the JSON file, and uh, I'm not able to do it. I'm. I don't know if the problem is with the key that I'm using or not. But so I, I'm asking for help in order to be able to do it. Okay. So specifically, so I don't know if a tutor has got the question specifically. If you are from the tutoring team, and please can you jump in? If not, just yes, you will be encouraged to use Slack and make sure that your question is very specific. We have someone okay. from tutoring team. Uh, okay, okay. so I think just what the optical is, uh, as we have been seeing yesterday, you have to look at the structure of the data that you've been given. So for the sensitivity, there will be a specific field or column in the data or in the JSON data. So you have to extract that data if that data or that field isn't null in the JSON file. Yes, I get your point, but I think that the field is in the given type. And uh, I even found a key which is uh, in the given file, I can notice that it's, it is possibly sensitive, which is the key, and under the key status. But I'm not able to retrieve it. Uh, you, you are not able to retrieve the possibly sensitive field from. The JSON file? I'm not able to retrieve it, yes. It, possibly, uh, it is a possibly sensitive field from the JSON file. But that field exists in the JSON file, right? You have checked of that. Of course, one. of course. It exists. And I even think that it is under retweeted, retweeted uh, status in the JSON file. Uh, okay, maybe then you have to maybe check how you can extract that specific field because if the field exists in the JSON file, you should be able to extract that, right? Yes, normally, but I did what I did exactly for the others, but and it's work. It works for them, but for especially this, specifically this is it is not working. So. Um, are you getting an error or are you, is it, is null value being returned when you try to extract that field? Please come again. Are you getting an error or is a null value being returned when you try to extract that field? Uh, I don't understand the question. Are you getting an error when you try to extract that field when looping through the JSON file? I think I have a network issue. I can't hear you very well. Uh, okay, maybe just as you can share the details on Slack on all yeah. week zero group and we'll be there to assist. Okay, okay. Thank you very much. Thanks. Let's hear from the last person. So as we are very close to the next session, then of course we have to wrap up the standard. Nathaniel, 
What's your question? Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, but yeah, you probably far from your microphone. If you can be close to your microphone, but okay. Uh, my question was uh, on the task one. Uh, there is a report uh, writing that saying understanding of the week zero challenge. So, do we have a template for that, or just do do we trust our instinct and do uh, do what we do? So specifically, what's your question, Nathaniel? Okay. Is it about uh, my question was, do we have a, a template for the report? The report? Okay. Yeah. Mm. So it was about the last day's uh, child? I mean, I, I can, no, no, I can, I, can, I can answer. Yeah, I think so. At the moment, there is a little bit of guideline, right? What is, uh, just, I'm just looking actually the document. Um, but if not, I will be able to share. Um, but in, in general, the mini reports, that means every day, think of it as just an update that you would put together as a blog. But in terms of what is usually is that, of course, you uh, think I'm just looking through, just uh, if there is any description there, probably there isn't. Um, okay. A one page summary of your understanding and any progress you made so it, it, it doesn't have any template so at the moment uh, basically you you describe what the motivation like for example today you should be able to describe the motivation of the project and your understanding of what needs to be done the plan and basically what you managed to do so far right so it's the kind of the part but ultimately what the, the, the kind of the project would look like is that you are trying to go to take through someone from the very beginning, what is the project, that was the objective, you know, where and then what is planned and how you planned it and the different elements that you are gonna implement. So that means step by step of each of the, um, the tasks. So we will be doing, so in when you write the, the blog, of course, you, you don't just go task by task, but you're kind of combining them. You say like, okay, because we need to do X, Y, Z tasks, I'm going to uh, write it. I'm going to create this section. First is the methodology. And the second is like the kind of the data that I'm using and anything about the data, the property of the data. And then you would be looking at, uh, you know, the exploration and some of the results that you obtain and then other details in terms of setting up the infrastructure, the pipeline. So you will be actually describing the different um, parts and you will be writing it along that line every day. So. I think we'll try to provide just a you know a simple example that that we consider is good, but at the moment just write it as much more more of you are preparing the writing every day for a blog that would have many sections including methodology, data, uh, objectives, results, analysis, and pipeline. Great. Thanks, Yabibu. So that's okay, it. Thank you. Yeah. I said, Mariam, sorry if I'm saying your name not right. Please, can you ask? It's okay. Your okay, first of all, thank question? you for having me and uh, for giving us this golden chance. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, sure. Uh, my question is just um, for tasks every day for homework. Uh, there are uh, tasks all manually to be done in the Google Drive, and there are also assignments just emailed for us. So, is that the application, or must we do that assignment, all assignments? There are a lot of assignments in the Google Drive, or just uh, daily assignments? So, Yabeba, you have your input on this. Did you get me? Yeah, you guys that. Can you, can, I think I didn't, I didn't hear fully. So can you just repeat it? Sorry. Okay, there are uh, manuals to be done in the Google Drive. 
and also uh, there is assignments sort of assignments given for us every day emailed us so the assignments in the google drive or the manuals are uh, huge than the one email for us or just like we submit yesterday so is that a must to do all the manuals in the google drive for each of the days i i am a bit so maybe uh, do you know um Everest, what, what is that manual versus the Google Drive? I'm... So, uh, yeah, so, what we can say, so every day has their own, I guess, their own challenge. So, and also their own assignment. So I, I guess you will, be, you will be getting instructions on each daily assignment or daily challenge. So if you're done by yesterday, that's it. So by now you should be looking to today, Tuesday for that. Then for Tuesdays, ah. for that is today. So yeah, but it's, that, it, it is all the same thing, though. It's just the same thing. You know, it's basically, there's no other, as far as I know, there's no other assignment other than just the one that you are doing that's combined. So the others, the Monday, Tuesday, whatever, are for, for basically tutorial documents, such that you get a certain oh, idea. Okay. But not like a challenge. The challenge is one challenge, and that's on top of the, Oh, okay. Google Drive, okay. and that is all you need to do. And it has, of course, also all of the you know the list of the tutorials are listed in that challenge document, as well as also the different tasks that you need to do. And the deliveries every day you have to do is also in that challenge document. So the very first okay. thing and the only thing that you you should be following and kind of you know delivering is just that what is described in the challenge document. Okay. So it means we have only one with the challenge document, right? Exactly. So there is no multiple, whatever. It's just only one challenge. The other, the mandate you stay, whatever folder, is to facilitate for, you know, to put the different materials that in the tutorials in organized manner. Great, thanks. So well, let's wrap up from here, guys. So Johannes, if you have a question, uh, please use Slack or you can benefit the next session. So we're stopping the, the recording, then I guess the next session.